We're here in Northern Sonoma County saying so long to summertime wines and hello to fall favorites. And I'm here with Julie and Ed at Pedroncelli Winery. We've been around since 1927, very rich history here in Northern Sonoma County. It started with my uh, my grandfather. My grandparents, John and Julia Pedroncelli, bought a piece of property in Dry Creek Valley in 1927. So we have just celebrated our 85th anniversary here in Dry Creek Valley, which is quite exciting. Yeah, happy but, birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank hey, you don't. You guys don't look a day over 29. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> Four generations going strong. What do you think the secret is to the success? Just so much family um, involvement on a daily basis. We still sit down at the family dining room table every day and have lunch together. Um, and the family is not just those of us who are related by blood, but we have uh, two or three employees who've been with us for 36, 37 years. So there's just a, a real sense of family working all side by side daily. And wow. That's, that's what does it for I gotta say, if me and my family were working side by side daily, it wouldn't be, it would be like, eh, it's over. We're making the switch to uh, fall wine. You know, summertime around here, we're drinking a lot of Sauvignon Blanc and Dry Rosé of Zin. We move into the fall and the winter, we're moving into Zinfandel and Petit Syrah. Cabernet is, is one of those sort of goes all year long, but for us, the Zinfandel and, and Cabernet er, and, and Petit Syrah really have those fall flavors. Um, Petit Syrah into a nice braised beef dish that we have on our website is quite a quite a wonderful fall dish. So. I was going to say it's on your website, but I don't see it here. What's, what's <laughs> going on? But we do have some wine here. Obviously, Zin, Dry Creek Valley. This is actually our Mother Clone Zinfandel. This is second generation vines that were um, propagated from the original vines that were planted sometime around the 20th, the 20th century. Dry Creek Valley Zin is really known for having that black pepper quality too. So again, those warm fall flavors really, uh, really work with this. And, and why is it called Mother Clone? It's what I like to refer to as old vines on new roots. Um, and even those new vines are, as Julie said, nearly 40 years old. So by most standards, that's an old vines in already again. My fiance just turned 40. I'm gonna let him know he's old by most standards. Is that what we're saying here? It is not just generations of family, but it's generations of vines. I mean, it's really, our, our roots are very deep here, so. Well, I'll raise my glass to keeping it all in the family. Yes. Cheers. Yeah. We are here at Ramazzotti Wines in gorgeous downtown Geyserville. I am thrilled because it's literally a party here. We busted out the bubbly. Well, we've been in business for over 35 years growing grapes. Uh, we started our own little commercial operation in 2002, but now it's already gone into 10 years. It just, they flew by. And uh, we finally opened our own tasting room here about six months ago, and uh, it's just been awesome. We're kind of moving into fall, even though you can't tell by my wardrobe or the sunshine, but fall is right around the corner. Let's talk a little bit about some of the wines and how they change with the seasons as well. Well, this morning, of course, we started with the uh, sparkling. We only make a couple hundred cases every year. And, um, and then our Chardonnay, but uh, as we come into fall, we have this wonderful Grenache Noir that will be perfect with Thanksgiving, your Thanksgiving meal. It's a lighter dry red. I was cutting you off, Joe, because I was know. trying to show you how smart I was. Now, is a Grenache Noir, Noir a combo of Grenache and Pinot Noir? No, not at all. Dang it. I knew it. <laughs> Stumped. Don't try to be like your smart one. What is it? It is exactly Grenache. Grenache, oh. and uh, but uh, they call it also Grenache Noir. It sounds fancy to say Grenache Noir. I it like does. that. And then of course we have our super Tuscan blend, the Raffinto, refined in Italian, and that is 60% uh, Sangiovese with Cab Merlot, Saran, Cab Franc, and that is also a great fall wine. Sometimes people think of a sparkling as just a wine to maybe start with, but you could also pair it with a lot. Of dishes as well. It's great for the holidays as a cel celebratory um, beverage, but it also goes great with uh, many appetizers. We um, at our family we have um, crab cioppino every year, and it would it goes great with the crab cioppino because it's a little lighter and um, you know kind of breaks up the heaviness of the red sauce and the cioppino. And we always have it for our Christmas celebration. How fun! I gotta ask you, what the heck is a cioppino? Corpino? Chichino? Crab chipino. It's chipino? a It's a fish stew. It's, oh. uh, with crab being the base. Here's to celebrating no matter what the season. There's always a time for sparkling. <laughs>